G'day, welcome back to the channel. I've done a little bit since uh, you've seen this last. Hadn't filmed a lot of it, but it's pretty much just dummied up in there at the moment. Oh, I sorted out my um, engine mount. That's all bolted in. It uh, seems to be pretty good. Steering head is on top of the forks. Bushes are in. Um, these are off a, a spare set of CT70 ST70 handlebars, which I'm going to use. It's got the internal throttle, which is really cool. I need to change the throttle cable to a longer one to suit that carburetor. Um, painted my engine cover, fan cover, and I did sort out my starter, which was cool. So that all worked out really well. So all my other parts are painted up, ready to go. Fuel tank looks good. Um, I need to clean up my bench and we'll start assembling the wheels, start putting wheels on. I still need to straighten my fork legs and paint those, but let's get the back end sorted out with the chain. Um, we'll go from there. All right, so I've got my little GoPro set up and my screen's flogged out on the back. It flogged me out the other day, so I can't actually see what I'm filming. Um, hopefully we get it all in shot. First job, I'm gonna assemble this back wheel. We'll speed things up with a bit of music so you're not bored. Righto, with split rims to avoid to avoid crushing your tube between the two halves, you need to put a little bit of air in them because they're flat and they don't sit in right unless you do that. So just a little tip if you haven't done it before. Just a little bit of air, holds it all out nice. Make sure that your uh, valve is accessible. Flip it the other way, it wasn't. So you saw me flip it over. Make sure that I can get some of my valve to pump my tire up. So that's an assembled wheel. I do need to sort out my brake drum, which I've got, which is off a of Honda. I've got to modify it to make it work. But the Hondas and the Dexans use the same brake pads and they fit, so I'll make it fit. Just pump the tire up, and I'll tell you what, that's close. Look how close it is. Might have to space that out. Things that you find when you're not using genuine parts, but that's all part of the job. There you go. A few washers spaced out nicely. That'll be fine. Next. So here's my Honda brake. It's Posty or it might even be CT70. I'm pretty sure this was off a of Posty. But they fit, kinda. So the spacing is gonna be right for my stay. And these are front this is a front brake by the way. The stay's gonna be right for the support on the frame. That's gonna work. The only problem I have is that hole's too small. These are a, like a 14.8 millimeter hole. I don't know what that is in Imperial. Um, I don't have a drill bit that size, so I need to take that out to the same size so I can run my axle through. And then all I've got to do then is run another spacer on the inside, so when that's in there, the outer housing isn't rubbing on this. So it just holds it out a little bit, and we'll have brakes. And I've got some new brake pads 
over there somewhere. Genuine Honda. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. All I've got to do now is run up the hardware, get myself a 15mm drill bit, or as close as I can to 14.8, drill it out, space it up, and then we can stick the back wheel on. I've got to shorten this too. I don't know what this is off, but it's the right size and diameter. Chop the head off, weld a new head on it, and we'll be right. So really, I could show you guys me drilling a hole in this and putting a bolt through that and putting a nut on the end of it and whatever but I know you guys aren't here for that let's um, mix them two straight together and fire that bad boy up First time in here, anyway. And I had to take the decomp out, which I didn't really want anyway. With that carburetor, you need a vacuum source, it doesn't have one. So you really got to find top dead center. Shed full of two smoke awesomeness, and um, if it runs alright, I'm probably gonna have to tune it up a little bit. Um, definitely need to adjust the mixture on it, but it runs like a champion. Let's get some wheels on it. I'll probably do that next episode, eh? Yeah.